Intro to Microsoft Word. This class is designed for those who are unfamiliar with Microsoft Word or want a refresher. My name is Ashley. I work in the Technology Division of the Southfield Public Library. This is Episode 3 of our Computer Basics course. So if you missed Episode 1, which was Computer Components of a Computer, or Episode 2, The Desktop, you can watch those on our website or our YouTube page. If you'd like to follow along, feel free to pause this video and maybe rewind too if you are stuck on a heart apart that you might find more difficult. So let's get started with what we are going to learn today. We're going to learn what is Microsoft Word, how to open Microsoft Word, how to navigate the basic formatting, how to edit a document, how to save and print a document, and finally we'll go over how you can get any of your questions answered. So what is Microsoft Word? For today's episode, I'm going to be using Word 2019 on a Windows 10 computer. It might look a little different than yours if you have a different version of Word, but it's okay. For the most part, you are going to find um, that the items that we're working with are located in the same spot, maybe slightly different. So Word is a popular word processor. You can use it to type your resume, write a letter. Um, you can also make many professional or personal documents using Word. So let's open Microsoft Word. You may have a shortcut saved on your desktop that you can double click to open it. If not, we'll open it through the start menu. Next to the search button, type Word and click it once to open the program. Now you can choose to open a blank document, a template, or a document you've worked on previously. You can click open other documents at the bottom left in that blue space to see all your old Word documents. You can look at a specific folder on your computer by clicking browse. We'll work on a blank document for this video, so hit cancel if you did open this up. And then we have a couple different ways on how to create a new document. On the left-hand side of that screen, in that blue area, you can just hit the new button. Or you can click the left arrow with the circle around it, also in that blue area at the top, to return to the main menu. Let's click that arrow and double-click blank document. And there we go. There's our document. Let's navigate. So at the very top of your document is the title bar. Right now, R says document one dash word. In the top left corner is the quick access toolbar with your undo button, save button. Uh, top right corner has your standard commands like minimize. It's the horizontal line with, um, that will hide this document so you won't see it on your screen. There's maximize. The square will make it fit the full computer screen. And then the close button, which is the X. The area above your document and below the, the title is the um, called a ribbon. So if you click on the tabs at the top, you'll see different buttons and fun functions. I just clicked on file, which has your open, um, your save options. Um, the home tab is the one we'll use the most today. This is where most of your formatting options are. At the bottom of the page is the status bar, which tells you how many words and pages you have. On the far right, you can um, follow along and try to zoom in and out with those minus and plus buttons. And then um, on the far right hand side of the screen is that scroll bar where you can scroll up and down through your document. And where that little blinking cursor is, or I'm sorry, vertical line, that is our cursor. And wherever that is, that is where we are going to be um, adding or removing characters. Basic formatting. So in order to do some basic formatting, we're going to need to type up some information. So let's type a few sentences. You can type whatever you want to. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. If you make an error, you can hit the backspace button, which um, the backspace removes characters that are behind the cursor. Let's hit enter and start a new paragraph. So we have two paragraphs. Now we're going to change around some font options. So to do that, we are going to highlight the section of the text we want to change. This can be kind of difficult if you're not using used to it. 
but to highlight text, you left click and drag until all the text you want is highlighted. When it's all highlighted, you release that mouse click. So you might want to pause the video here and practice that a little bit. If you want to keep going, um, go to the Home tab. If you're not already there, there is a space for font. Here we can choose to bold the text, italicize, underline. We can make this font, the font bigger. And we can also change the font face or type. There are so many options to choose from. You could spend a long time looking through these. And then finally, let's change the color, that A with the red color underneath it, and choose from any of the copy, the colors there. And now we're going to copy and paste. There's a few ways to do this. First, we'll highlight the text we want to copy. Again, left click and drag. Then you can either click the copy button under the home tab and then click where you want the um, words to go and hit the paste button also under that home tab. You can also um, copy by highlighting the text and hitting control C on your keyboard. Control is the CTRL key. And then to paste, you do the control V. Um, so let's say we accidentally pasted the text and we want to undo it. The undo button is located in your quick access toolbar, typically above the home tab. Click once to undo. Another way you can do this is to hit the control Z. Again, only hit them briefly. If you want hold them down too long, it'll undo more than you planned. So now let's try making bullet points. First, we need a list. So I'm just going to type some animal names. You can type whatever you like. Just have three. Hit enter after each word or name. Once we have a list going, we'll highlight our list. Again, using the cursor to left click and drag into the list and only the list is highlighted. Under the home tab, there's a paragraph area. Click the bullets option. It looks like three dots with a line next to each dot. If you click the little down arrow or carrot next to the bullets option, you can choose a bullet from the bullet library or you can define a new bullet. So if we define a new bullet, click the symbol button after you click define, and then you can look through the list until you find a symbol that you like. And once you find that symbol, you click on the symbol and hit OK. So I found one I liked, I hit OK, hit OK one more time, and there we go. So now let's make a numbered list of bullet points. So we need another list. I'm going to hit enter a couple, hit enter twice, and you'll um, have some space below. So let's type some colors. You can type whatever you want. Again, just hit enter after each line. Once we have a list going, we'll highlight our list. Again, using the, the cursor to left click and drag until all of our list is highlighted. Once it's highlighted, uh, we will go to the paragraph area again on the home tab and click the numbered bullet points option. It has a one, two, three and a line next to each. It is the, um, it is the button to the right of the bullet points that we just did. And again, if you click the little arrow, down arrow or carrot next to the numbered bullet point, you can choose a different number scheme or letter. Okay, let's try to do some alignment. So let's add a title to our document and we'll center the title. So we'll um, left click at the top of our page and um, right to the, to the left of our sentences and then hint enter after you type that word. We'll highlight the word and then we are going to navigate to the paragraphs portion again and click the center option. And it'll center it on the page. You can also align it to the right side of the page or the left side of the page. But typically, um, these are titles are centered. So let's hit centered again. And the last thing we're going to go over is double spacing. If you're reading a long document, it's easier to read when it's double space. So let's type a few lines. It can be gibberish, maybe some affirmations. Um, so we'll just give ourselves a minute or two to write down few sentences. And when you're done, go ahead and highlight the 
that paragraph. Once you have your paragraph um, highlighted under that paragraph area again, we're going to click the arrow up and down with the three lines next to it, and you're going to choose two. That means double spacing. But there is another way to do this. If you click the icon at the bottom right of the paragraph here, um, to double space, you would just choose from the spacing area double. We'd already have it double spaced, so um, it already said double, but if it was, it would say single if it were not yet single. So there you have it. There is some basic formatting. Let's move on. Edit a document. So we are human. We make mistakes, and luckily we have spell check. This is an important function to do after you finish writing your document to make sure you didn't um, misspell anything. So under the review tab. The proofing area is um, a spelling and grammar check. So if you click on it once, the button will show you any issues um, and then you can click on it and ignore it or you can change it to what was suggested. So then once it's done, it'll say, it'll give you that prompt that we just saw. So it's important to keep in mind that it won't catch words that are spelled correctly, but you may have typed in, a, in place of another word. For example, example, I'm writing, I'll make some soup that eat it, instead of then eat it. So spell check will not notice this error, so you still need to proofread your documents. And a great trick to do that is to read the paper out loud. So another um, option under this review tab is the thesaurus. It's a great tool, especially if you overuse use certain words like I do. So choose any of your words, and you can either highlight the word you want to find a synonym for, or you can put the cursor at the end of the word. Then we'll click that thesaurus button to the right of spelling and grammar. It'll show you some um, options to choose from. If you click on the word itself, it'll find another synonym. You can always hit that little um, left caret option to go back. Um, but if you want to insert it, you choose that down arrow on the right and then click insert. All right, so those are the most common um, functions for editing a document. Let's save and print our document. Um, save, it's important to save your work as you go, just in case something happens, like a power outage or a cat jumps on your keyboard and accidentally exits it, which has happened to me. There are a few ways to save. You go to file um, at the top and then you can click save or save as. Um, when you're saving a file for the first time, you can choose where on your computer to save it. To stay organized, you may want to create a specific folder or um, for quick, easy access, you can go to the desktop. And then I'm going to name it Word Basics Practice so I know exactly what's in this document. Also under File is the Print option. So to print your document, click File, then down that list is Print. You can choose how many copies you want to print, um, which printer you want to print to, if you want a certain page range. Again, we're just doing the basics here, so I won't go over every option, but those are the main features you want to consider when printing. So um, another way for a quick save is to use that um, top left corner. There's that little box square kind of thing um, maybe some of you know it as a floppy disk. That is how you can save your document really easily as you go along. Okay, so that's it. Let's go over how you can get your questions answered. So if you want to practice using Word and you don't have a computer, you can reserve a computer at the, our, our library on our website or by calling the Tech Helpline. Um, if you have questions, you can also call that Tech Helpline 248 796 4358. You can email us um, at techhelp at southfieldlibrary.org. You can also submit an online technology form 
on our website, southfieldlibrary.org. On the menu, there's um, an area for services, and under services, you'll find virtual services, and then you'll see the online technology help. And finally, if you are on our website, please do check out our virtual programs that we have. We have so many things to offer for so many different ages. Um, if you have something you want to see in the future, please email us, comment on this video. Just let us know what you'd like to see and what would help you guys the most. So thank you for tuning in. Hopefully I'll see you on our next episode where we will dive into um, the insert function on Word. Thanks for tuning in.